I think that the mom needs to be able to decide. And I know that's a cop out to say that, but. But should she legally be able to decide a day before birth? Yeah. Is this why you record for stupid shit like this? You guys are disgusting. And now she's going up to the cops, I guess. I don't know what's happening. My body is my body, and I have the right Be to careful. do whatever she's I need to for that. Yeah. Who's a predator? Who's a predator? Is there someone behind me? Okay. Is there someone behind me? No. She either pointed at me or you, and she doesn't even know me. I don't she's know. Like, her. I don't know her either. I don't think you're a predator. Continue. We are I'm sorry. Not predators. I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry that you got interrupted <laughs> like, with that. that. Is she with? Maybe. Is she with know. that group? Well, she's standing there, so I have no idea. Oh, okay. Anyway, anyway. that's okay. <laughs> Maybe she wasn't talking to us. <laughs> this is a prime example of, yeah, you're going to experience different things here. And there's going to be people saying <laughs> random things. But at the end of the day, you make your own joy. Yeah. You do. True, true. DeSantis, back to him. I don't feel like, as a woman, you could vote for him. Because all I can think of is, okay, this is very personal, but I'm going to share we have our kids, I have a lot of health issues, and I've already been told that if I ever got pregnant again, we would have to choose between my life or my babies. If the way DeSantis wants our abortion laws to be, where you cannot do it at all, it would mean that automatically if I ever got pregnant by my husband, accidentally somehow, we would automatically have to choose that I'm going to die once that baby is born. I won't make it through labor. Okay. Do you mind sharing why? I have um, different autoimmune disorders, different diagnoses. My my biological parents locked me in a closet from birth until almost three years old. I'm so sorry. I weighed just over 10 pounds. I barely survived. I'm a motivational speaker for child abuse awareness, so I've told the story a lot. That's why composure. Yes. But it's because of all of these health issues, what, at each time I got pregnant, my body just broke down more and more and more, and I was struggling with, if I get too hot, my legs give out and I can't even walk. Okay. Like, just all these different things. And they told me, pregnancy makes it so much worse for you. Your body doesn't handle the influx of hormones, all the different things. So at this point, if I ever did, we'd have to choose me or a baby. Okay. I and DeSantis doesn't want you, me to be allowed to make that choice for myself. His logic is we have to have every baby because there's a better option than abortion. There's foster care. Okay, I was a foster kid. I went through many homes and I was abused and treated terribly by plenty of foster parents. It doesn't, that's not a guarantee for a great home for a kid. And you're not factoring in the pain and the, the emotional distress you're putting that mom through by forcing her to carry a baby and give that baby away because she already knew when she got pregnant that she couldn't do it. She had the right to choose that before making it that far. Not to invalidate anything you're saying. No, you're, um, fine, you're fine. Ron, Ron DeSantis's bill is at six weeks. Yes. So what week do you think the ban should be at? The struggle for me with six weeks is my first son when I conceived him, we didn't know until I was seven weeks pregnant. My second we knew at like three or four weeks, so we would have potentially known in time. But I feel like by making this ban so early, like so early in pregnancies, most women don't even know they're pregnant yet. So when do you think it should be? What week? I think that it's tough. At the end of the day, it's not fair for any of us to put a number on someone else's experience. Because what if you get pregnant and you find out that your child is going to have a severe deficit and they're never going to be able to see or move or function? So my husband well, leading that in. leading that all out because yeah. those are hypotheticals and those are very 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 rare things that happen. I think it's what, less rare what, than people think, honestly. But yes. So, so do you have a week, or do you think it should be up until birth? I think that the mom needs to be able to decide, and I know that's a cop out to say that, but but should she legally be able to decide a day before birth? Yeah. Can you describe that type of abortion that would happen to me the day before birth? 
It's an extremely painful abortion. I mean, I... Do you know the steps and how many days, it, what happens and... It depends on each person because it's also whether or not your body can do it via medication or if you have to go in and get a surgical DNC. There's so many different steps. So um, the, the day before birth, the day before birth, they would they would kill the child inside and then they would send the woman's body into labor. Yep. So she would birth the baby anyway. Yes. Wouldn't it make more sense for her to birth the baby alive at that point? Yes. She has to go to, through birth, but you think yes. legally she should be allowed to birth a dead I, baby that she chose I don't to kill? Think she should. Okay. I, not that I don't think that it. I don't think she should do that. Legally, do you think legally she should be themselves. allowed? Legally, she should have the right to her own body. That's like me telling you, I'm going to put a tattoo on your body whether you like it or not, right? I don't think a tattoo is the equivalent to a, a baby You're being starting born. to make me feel like this lady over here was calling you the predator now at this point, honestly. Well, I but would never advocate for legally allowing a woman to anyone. birth a dead baby that I she don't want killed. Anyone. I don't want anyone to do that, ever. I don't want anyone to feel Why like Why not? Why, n why don't you want women to commit an abortion? Every person's situation is different. You're saying that it's rare. You think all these different situations are very rare and extraordinary. They're not. Yeah. They're not. 97% of abortions happen for elective reasons, not because of medical reasons, not because of deformities. That's that's about like 1% of the abortions done in the entire country. And that statistics come from the Gutmacher Institute, which is the research arm of Planned Parenthood. I just have an issue with you've given birth, I've given birth, I'm about to again, I prefer and I, I wonder... I this world, don't get me wrong, I do. Great. I don't want babies to somehow all of a sudden have this problem, but you also need to realize, is it fair to tell a woman who, maybe she was assaulted and she got pregnant, right? She decides, I'm going to have this baby because that's the right thing to do. Yes. And then she starts trying to carry this baby and it gets too emotional for her and she says, I can't do it. It is absolutely fair to say you cannot terminate that life inside of you at any point. Yes, I do believe that. Um, I am pro-life. I am carrying a child inside of me. It's not my body. This, this baby has a different body than mine. And I know what I did to conceive this child. I do too. So, I, 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 they were welcome yeah. here. It, it, I'm what is go ahead. I just want to take a minute. I'm sorry. And I want to let you know, I do not consent to having any of this put on any level of social media Why not? or anywhere. I'm done. Why I don't not? Think this is okay. If I answer that, you're just wanting me to put it on there. And I don't want to. Why I'm isn't not this okay? To this. Because that lady was right. You're over here just trying to be a predator to people. You're over here trying to ask us because questions. Because I have a different opinion than you. You're asking us questions. And then if we don't say the same thing, you're like, I disagree. It's okay for me okay. to disagree, isn't and it? And you can disagree, but it doesn't mean that you switch around how people are saying things. I think every woman has the right to choose whether or not you she has a baby. You told me, and you told the camera, that you think it's okay the day before birth for a woman to inject a solution into her child to stop but its that's heart. that's not what I said. You're saying that. You said it's okay to do that. You're saying We that. will re-roll the, the tape and say that you said it was okay for her to have the choice to do that. I think that... The mom needs to be able to decide, and I know that's a cop out to say that, but but should she legally be able to decide a day before birth? Yeah, you I don't want it to happen. To you putting any of my face or my information anywhere. I understand. Ever. I understand that you don't want that to happen. No, I don't consent. Okay. That's okay for you to not consent. Then don't put my stuff anywhere. I understand you don't want me to do that. Don't do it. I understand you don't want me to do it. Is this why you record for stupid shit like this? I'm gonna say, ma'am. You guys are disgusting. I don't think it's disgusting to want children to uh, not be killed the day before their due date and uh, be delivered dead. That That's what's disgusting. So because I have a different opinion than her, I was called a predator and I was told that I'm disgusting and now she's going up to the cops, I guess. I don't know what's happening, but she's not okay. She's probably not okay for that opinion to be out to a conservative audience who would not agree with that because who would agree with that? Opinions? Um, abortion is wrong.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We actually stumbled Jesus, across this. Jesus is Lord. 